What is up amigos? Today we're talking about how tire deformation of a car affects its aerodynamics. And this is a highly nuanced subject where minor differences can have an effect on the drag. We'll be talking about in general, and this is still quite an emerging field. And for example, the results that we are seeing here, you can find them in papers, for example, like numerical investigation of the influence of tire deformation and vehicle ride height on the aerodynamics of passenger cars. So overall, the tire will deform. So if we have a front on view of a car, this is a simplified car where we have just the regular box and then we have wheels coming through. There's obviously four to the front, to the back. Then these wheels, the tires, will touch the ground. And because this car is weighing something, usually quite a lot, the contact patches are actually quite small. They're only usually about the size of your hand. So there's a lot of force going through a fairly small region, and this also results in the tires deforming. So usually what will happen is around the sides here, they'll bulge out a little bit. And I've exaggerated how much they bulge just so we can see them, but they do bulge out. And you can look at any cars really on the road, just even parked there, you'll see that there is a bit of a uh, bulge around the contact patch. Now, this bulging, this deformation, is not all the deformation that occurs with the tire. For example, if you have a regular tire, which we've covered in this video, when you rotate it, it will then change shape. And also, just because it's rubber, there is this elastic deformation as the tire pulls up off the ground as opposed to being flung into the ground. So there's an asymmetry of the deformation there as well. But let's just talk about a general deformation in terms of loading. So based on the loading of the car, you can have different loadings depending on the passengers you have in the car, how much stuff you have in the car, fuel even, that changes the weight of the car and hence how much will these tires will deform. They might deform more or less. Obviously, if there's more weight, then it'll deform more. What's more, the speed at which you travel at changes the deformation as does even the temperature of the tires. So the warmer the temperatures, obviously the more elastic the rubber of the tire will become. And that will then allow it to deform easier. So there are a whole bunch of factors that affect how much it deforms, which means that understanding how the amount of deformation affects the aerodynamics is important. So overall, let's talk about, first of all, the direct effects, because there are uh, indirect effects, which we'll cover later on in this video. But first of all, the direct effects. So blowing up just a regular wheel, let's have a really big wheel here, and then around the contact patch, we have this bulge occurring. Well, depending on how big this bulge is, we obviously will just have a greater frontal area if this is wider or narrower, a greater frontal area, exposed to fast moving flow coming in and hitting it, which means that naturally this area, additional area that we have, is exposed to even more high pressure. And compared to the rear of the wheel, which has lower pressure, that means we get a pressure difference front to back. That's an increase in pressure drag. It's as simple as that. So the greater this bulge is, the greater the drag will be just through simply having a greater frontal area. Also, the back of the tire will have a greater wake as well because as the flow goes around a tire, let's say we have a tire um, from side on, the flow comes around, we will usually get a wake forming, particularly around the bottom part of the, the wheel. So we get a bigger wake occurring here because of this bulge as well, it's just, it's wider. So we get more drag from the wake that forms around the back. Now, in terms of the ride height, this is actually quite an interesting <laughs> phenomenon. Actually, first of all, the amount of drag that we get changing just on the wheels. So the drag of a wheel, if you have a very slender wheel, so there's not much deformation compared to really the extreme case, the drag of the wheel will increase by about 20 to 30%. So that's quite a lot of uh, drag increase for such a small change. And also wheels already, it contribute maybe 25% to 30% of a car's regular drag. So that's already now an even greater increase just to, because of this increase in bulk. Now, in terms of the ride height, as I mentioned, it's very interesting because if you were to reduce the ride height of a car, that usually reduces the drag. But in order for the car to drop in ride height with the tire bulge, the tire needs to bulge even more because this then like squashes the tire and then makes it smaller effectively, the distance between the axle and the surface because of that bulging occurring. So that actually reduces the ride height of the car. So that's going to reduce the drag, but we have still this occurring here, which is going to increase the drag. So which one wins out? Is the ride height dropping the drag drop that we get from that going to be greater than the drag increase we get from this or vice versa? Well, it turns out that generally speaking, the drag drop, the, the drag increase, sorry, that we get from this tire bulge 
is much worse than the drag drop that we get from the ride height. And generally speaking, about um, half the increase that we would get normally just from a regular car that has the tire bolt without a change in ride height, so about that 20 to 30% increase in the drag, um, that gets about halved. So as we factor in this ride height drop because of this tire bulging, the drag coefficient increases by about 10 to 15% now as opposed to the 20 to 30%. So the ride height uh, drop does take some of that drag increase back, which is nice, but still we do get an increase in drag. So that is how tire deformation on a regular car with ride height and without ride height affects its aerodynamics, the drag coefficient, and why. So that's the video. Make sure to like and click the subscribe button. And this one, peace amigos.